he's being like Mike, stepped away at the top of his game, hopes to return at the top of his game. Beer royalty is back in business and adding to his legacy. Yeah, I think. Hey, aren't you the Bourbon County Stout guy? Look around. I did. Saw you. That's fine. That's great. You're like beer Jesus. Guilty as charged. I helped start that on the on the barrel aged stout thing. It brings tasty joy to so many. I've never, you know, given up beer. Didn't say you did. It's not like I divorced beer. Divorcing beer is a sin, Greg. That just doesn't make sense. Exactly. It was more like I graduated from beer. Greg Hall gave up big city brewing. Why wouldn't I make cider? To become the founder of something fruitier. There's a huge opportunity to, again, make something that somebody else wasn't making. In Fenville. This is where I want to be. After 10 years of cider making. Cider is certainly more about complexity than intensity. And I, and I wanted that back from my beer. Greg has returned. I wanted a, a beer flavored beer. To his roots. We're not going for intensity with him. We're going for subtlety. He created Vestland. It's such a unique flavor. It's a Norwegian inspired lager. It's got fruitiness. It's got spiciness. It's got some like floral notes. Like juniper adds a really unique character to a beer. Greg grows it on his cider farm. We're not trying to hammer you on the head with anything. Well, you did with Bourbon County Stout, so... That's so cool. Yeah, except for that hangover part. That you don't have to think about too much. Greg's not leaving cider behind for beer. He wants to show that the divorce... If people like it, we'll make more. Didn't go through. To me, it smells and it tastes like the outside, which is the best part of being in West Michigan. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side. Wow, Vestland beer will hit store shelves on Monday and you will be able to find it wherever Virtue Cider is sold. And if you want to learn more about beer, Jesus, Greg Hall and Vestland, we've got links you can check out in the web version of this story at 13onyourside.com. Oh, that Bourbon County is just famous.